Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today uh, I'm going to talk about open close principle. Uh, it's a part of the, uh, the solar principle, that's a second solar principle. Uh, we talked about the first principle uh, other time. If you haven't watched it, I would highly encourage you to please check that out. Okay, so what is it open close principle, right? So think about a scenario, right? Uh, let me give you a very uh, simple definition about it. it. It means that a class is open for extension, uh, but closed for modification, right? That's a simple uh, explanation for it. Okay, so uh, in simple terms, Let's say you have a class, right? You have a class, you have a few methods inside the class, right? And then uh, uh, the requirement change, you wanted to add more functionality. So usually what happens is that a developer goes and amend an existing class, add that uh, functionality using if else or switch statement or whatever. Um, so that's what we call as a non open closed principle. Uh, the reason why I'm saying is that uh, because it, it violates the second principle, because in this scenario, you're uh, not extending the class, in, instead you're modifying it, right? So let's do that in action. I'm going to do a very simple example uh, to demonstrate what I mean by that. So let's look at, at an employee class, right, where I gonna I wanted to retrieve a uh, number of hours worked per week, right? Simple. Okay, so let's go to developer console. So first thing first, uh, I'm going to demonstrate this using uh, Apex code. So because this is to do with the Salesforce. So the ma my main aim is to make sure that who are uh, getting to Salesforce development, I write a uh, pretty cool uh, organized code, right? Okay, so let's go to developer console. <clears throat> and uh, um, so uh, don't worry about this stuff here. So we're just going to close all and create a new class. So let's create a new class called Apex class. Let's see. Uh, let me tell you uh, the problem with the existing class, right? Uh, employee class. <clears throat> okay. And so now we have, uh, so let's say, uh, let's say I don't want any 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 uh, setters or getters, so I'm just gonna put a very basic method here. Uh, public, uh, you know, static void. Uh, sorry, not void. Uh, we can say integer and get. Uh, no, okay, hours worked. Right. <clears throat> For now, uh, let's assume it is as a 40, 40 hours per week. Cool. Okay, so that's great. So the, this is our basic class, right? So let's say we have a uh, requirement. Uh, let's say these are for the full-time employees, right? Now you get a casual employees who work like um, 30, 30 hours a week. Uh, then you have a contractors who works uh, 35 hours a week. So normal scenario, what are you gonna do? So you normally do uh, say uh, public, sorry, you said private, uh, let's say public, uh, string type right and so you in, in in a normal scenario right you normally do uh, if type uh, equals to you know whatever uh, you know just just an example I'm, I'm demonstrating equals to full time and then do this uh, else you know whatever right so so now you can see that we got a serious problem here because we are actually trying to extend. Um, so we are actually trying to modify our class, right? Uh, so we are not actually extending it, but instead we are modifying it, right? Which is actually a very bad practice because what happens is that you modify this functionality, then you have to write separate uh, unit test case to cater for different scenarios. So you might break an existing functionality, which is absolutely a bullshit, right? Sorry to use that word. Uh, which is not the way to do go for it right so this is a very bad programming practice to begin with right now that's where the, the second principle comes in the picture now we can write in a very efficient way so I'll show you how to write in a very efficient way <clears throat> okay so write this um, um, so just return it um, and so what we're we gonna do uh, we're gonna do I uh, keep it keep the class as such right um, so 
we're gonna keep it as such don't worry about it for now uh, let's refactor this uh, refactor is okay uh, create a new apex class uh, let's say a uh, I employee right so public uh, interface I employee and now we're gonna do hours work right so we're gonna do uh, right um something like that I was worked right and I'm gonna save it and uh, this is let's see if I can say okay that's saved right now um, what we're gonna do we're gonna extend we're gonna take this off right and now we're gonna say employee class and uh, so we uh, keep it as such okay now create a new one let's say we're gonna create a uh, so we can say full-time uh, EMP right and then we're gonna do uh, so we say uh, implements right uh, we're gonna implement this interface uh, pretty nice and easy though um, I mean so you're gonna do uh, public right static <clears throat> uh, excuse me and we're gonna copy this uh, this method here and it's just gonna do uh, just just okay uh, uh, for now hard coded to 40 right okay now save it um, okay so that's done uh, let's create a casual one for now uh, I'm not creating too many classes so just uh, casual employee right uh, so we just gonna do that and just gonna copy this similar stuff here, right? Uh, exactly from here. Uh, so I just uh, so gonna do this here and uh, do this something like that. Okay, casual employee. <clears throat> Let's say thirty hours a week. Nice and easy, right? Okay. Um. Um. Mm, let's see what's wrong. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so that works fine. Not a problem at all, right? Okay, so now in this case, uh, we can uh, do something like that, right? So here, uh, we can do uh, a type here, right? String type, right? So we can do um, so if type uh, equals to let's say full time right and uh, oh, sorry not type well, uh, it's type e right I can just put type e okay I can do we come to full time then what we're gonna do we're gonna do return <clears throat> uh, uh, full time right full time dot uh, hours worked right uh, else for now I'll just just keep it this return um, casual employee um, casual employee uh, casual employee dot hours worked right so gonna do okay right let's save it okay so nice and easy right so we're not doing any functionality change here right so we are actually calling it uh, from a uh, separate <clears throat> interface right so now if you wanted to uh, enhance it right let's say you wanted to uh, add it another uh, uh, class right uh, so I'd say uh, some sort of employee you don't have to modify full-time you don't have to touch casual you just have to create a new class right so this is this is one way you can do it okay so um, so what we're gonna do so just want to do run this one go to uh, debug console so I'm just gonna go here debug console so here um, hours worked so I'm just gonna say um, F time employee right and so you're gonna do system dot uh, uh, 
that's fine. So let's run this. Okay, sorry. Let's run this one, and I'm gonna show you the magic here. <clears throat> right. Okay. Now let's go here to the code, and there you are. It it triggers the full time, and. Let me put that. System.debug. <clears throat> Let's put that system.debug just to make it simple. All right. Okay. And. All right. You got 40, right? So that's, that's one way. And if you don't put anything, uh, I mean, it's not really a great example, but you know you're getting what I'm trying to do. So, um, so you can actually see it should return um, thirty. So, so this is how you should do uh, uh, the second principle. So, if it's not good to modify an existing class because now in this case, right, I'm not touching uh, you know full-time employees' work hours work. I'm I'm not touching this class at all, right? So this is just a skeleton I wrote. So, but if you don't want it to use this way, you can uh, ignore it. That's fine. Uh, but please try to understand that uh, if you have different functionality instead of putting if, you know. So when I mentioned initially uh, to avoid uh, if type equals to, what I meant by that something like this, <clears throat> you know, if type equals to then return forty else forty five. You know, it doesn't uh, look nice. And it's, it's difficult to maintain, right? Because what is 40, you know? Uh, you might change the calculation sometimes. You you know, that that's that's one of the scenarios I'm just giving. Very, very basic scenario. You might come across the complex scenario where, you know, uh, you know modifying the existing class may not be a good option. So it's always good to keep into consideration the solid principle because it works. And it helps you write a very efficient code and a code which you can maintain, uh, you know, in the long run. And with... Uh, without introducing uh, uh, much bugs, right? <clears throat> so that's uh, all I have to cover. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to look at the third principle, then we're going to look at the fourth, then we're going to look at the fifth, right? So I hope you uh, enjoy this session. Um, so if you have any questions or any feedback, please uh, leave that in the comment section below, right? Uh, that being said, uh, greetings and ideas from New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.